What's going on guys? We are back today with another showcase video for you and I want to take a look at Weird World. We ain't, we ain't done one of them in a hot minute so let's go take a look at this deck I threw together using the new Headless Portraits card. Cool little card here. I like the idea of it. It says when played if your deck contains April Fools your Weird World cards wherever they are gain 18 until played. So we're going to utilize this card and April Fools. You hardly see this card in action, and it's pretty neat. This is a great week for it, too, just because the lose two for four turns isn't relevant because we're getting the minimum 13 every turn no matter what. So uh, real quick, I do want to take a look at the deck code here for those interested. PU59YW. So if you are interested in the deck, go try her out. But... Yeah, we're going to utilize April Fools, so 2 energy, 100 power. On the return, it loses 80, so really not relevant into the late game. It's more for the early game. But uh, the main reason it's in the deck is for uh, this Headless Portraits card here to get that 18 until played on our Weird World. Uh, also, Rockin' Goatman, where you have just the 9 history cards in the deck, so we're going to get that 14 on our history. Magna Carta. Like I said, it is 13 energy this week, no matter what. So to get the discount on your cards is pretty relevant. So we can get some bigger cards like these eight drops down. Uh, this one won't get the discount. So I'm going to have to try to play this with like a one drop or a two drop, hopefully. So we can still try to play three cards. But that's the only one really that we struggle with. Sometimes you might only get to play two cards in hand, uh, depending. But we'll see. Uh, on to our Weird World, we've got Rat King. When drawn, your cards in hand gain 13 perm, and this card loses, so it really, this card just doesn't gain anything. It just stays at zero. Uh, Roanoke Colony, when returned, if you lost the turn, your opponent's cards wherever lose 10, and if you won, they gain 10, or yours gain 10, I'm sorry. So pretty good there. Uh, Anubis, threw this in the deck just as a filler. I like that it's only a three drop, and it's a fantastic ability. And with that, I also threw in Tungsten as well, just because we don't see the negative effect this week. So you get that 14 permanent power with no downside. So kind of like that. We've got the Green Children. This is a pretty decent card in this deck. Actually, kind of kind of surprises me in this deck how good it is. Uh, when played, if your deck contains no space cards, your Weird World cards in hand gain 20 on the turn. So we try to play it with two other Weird World cards when we can. Uh, Magna Carta makes it a one drop, so it makes it really easy to get down <coughs> with some other big cards like Hill of Crosses. Uh, when drawn, your Weird World cards, wherever they are, gain 17 perm. And then uh, when returned, they lose 7 perm, but a random card in your hand gets 25 next turn. So really, we net that 10 permanent power, which is nice. Uh, the manuscript here, Vo Voinik. Voinik Manuscript? I don't know how to say it. Uh, when played, if you're winning the round, your Weird World cards gain 24 on the turn. And then when returned, if you lost the turn, they get 8 permanent power. So that's nice. Uh, what else? Uh, Butterball, kind of an all-star in the deck. Fantastic card when played. If played in the middle slot, card opposite loses 50. And 9 of your random natural monuments and Weird World cards, wherever they are, Get 23 until played. So that's big stats there for our basically our whole deck. Our, our whole all our weird world cards, anyways. <coughs> and we do have a few natural monuments down here as well that are gonna take advantage. You can see Door to Hell is gonna take advantage of that. And then it also gets that 50 on the turn, kind of help win around. And Thor's well, interesting. Uh, card as well if your deck has one or more oceans cards your weird world cards in hand gain 20 until played so uh, our one off is flying dutch just for if we get a little behind we can drop dutch try to catch back up on it on a specific round and then uh, obviously take advantage of the that plus 20 for our weird world cards uh we've got what else we've got the capuchin catacombs uh, on return our weird world cards get 13 until played uh, Hunt the Wren, when played, your Weird World cards, wherever they are, gain 24 for three turns. So big buff there from the Wren. And finally, Rockin' Ballet to round it out, uh, just for the history cards in hand, gaining 22 for two turns. So nice little buff from Ballet there. And that's the deck, guys. 
it's played extremely well, honestly. I, I've lost a, like a game or two, I think, but uh, only to like really busted decks. I think I lost to like marsupials, which is no surprise. I believe I beat Tiny though, if I recall. I beat I beat some pretty good decks with this. Surprisingly, uh, I beat a Paleo deck that got real cheap. Uh, it was actually D Goody, his uh, the same deck I lost to on the previous video from the uh, other deck. I rematched him the other night, uh, just you know on accident. I wasn't even trying to, and uh, I ended up beating that same. deck. It looked like the same deck, so I think it was the one that smoked me the other day. Oh, let's see here. We've only got one in our hand, so maybe we hold that. Uh, we do want to get April Fools down since it's going to burn away. Uh, and let's drop Magnet. Oh well, now let's drop Hill Crosses here. All right, so we got Primates here, so that'll be a good deck. They get real cheap. I have a hunch we're going to want to try to win the early get early rounds here. Because late game Primates does get a little bit bigger. Actually, I think I'm going to... Ooh. Hmm. This buffs those 220, so I kind of want that. So maybe we just go Magna here. Hold on to our Weird World cards here. So we can take advantage of Green Children with another draw of a Weird World card. Yeah, I like that. And there's one there. We do have Butterball, too. Maybe that's the play. We can play it. So that seems good. I think we do that. Let's go... What's the max here? Let's go green and this. 293. He's only playing two, but we're going to minus 50. So I think we win here. Yep. All right. Round one in the books. I like it so far. Like I said, Dutch, we're kind of just holding on to that in a pinch if we need it. We don't really care to play it any just to play it. You know what I mean? You want to get the, the advantage from it. Uh, there's Anubis, so we probably want to play it. This card wants to be winning the round, so we probably hold you. So let's do it like let's do it like this. That puts him in the lead for Dutch. All right, Dutch is active. Manuscript's not active now. That's all right. Let's do tungsten. I want to get the per permanent power going. A little extra, extra. A little something, something. All right, we have a shot. Only down 125. We've got some big cards in hand. We just drew our door to hell. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I think we go for the W, especially if he's only playing two cards. So let's do it like this. You see, this deck can put some power down. Definitely surprises me. Especially in this lower energy week where most people wouldn't think Weird Worlds would be decent. This actually is pretty decent. But Magna Carta really helps a lot. If you don't have Magna Carta, I wouldn't really suggest it. That kind of makes it function a lot better. At least in my opinion. All right. Uh, so I want to get I'm gonna want to get Door to Hell back, obviously. So uh, let's see. I think we play it in slot one because I want to get it back round four. Really don't want to go late to round five if I don't have to. Ooh, there's his big turn. So we're probably going to lose this round. That's fine. I mean, he needed to win one, right? Unfortunately, it is the history round. I feel like that's the one I should have been able to win. <laughs> All 
Alright, let's dump our let's dump our cards we don't care about as much now. Basically kind of throwing this round. Setting up for the round four. That's when I want to win. If he's gonna play all his best cards now, I'm fine with that. What else can we throw? I'm going to throw Anubis. We want to throw you. We're going to get a nice plus 60 buff there. And what else? I think we play you to get the 13 until played. And I wanted to play three. I want to, I want to cycle so we can make sure we get door to hell there on that last turn of round four. Because that's going to help us hopefully win the game. not a space or it is a space arena so i don't think he's benefiting from it so that helps us we're not benefiting from it all right we'll do it like that it was a definitely a um potential to just kind of throw that first turn to trigger dutch but i really didn't want to get behind if i didn't have to Holding the lead, but barely. This might go to round five. But like I said, we, we should be drawing door to hell. There it is. But what is it with? Nothing great. We've got goat. So goat, Roanoke, and door to hell. 499. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do. Let's try it. Uh-oh. I think he got us. All right, we're going round five. So maybe we let him win the first turn so I can activate Dutch. We might need Dutch here to win. This is close. Like I said, I really didn't want to go late with the uh, um, primates, but it looks like we don't have an option here. We're going to hope this puts us behind. Hopefully not too bad. Just for Dutch to be live. <clears throat> Alright, so we are behind. Okay. I think we go like this. He might not have his big cards for this last turn, but we're going to see. Hoping for a good draw here. I'm trying to remember what we should be drawing into. Probably should have kept my eye on that. April Fool's a dead card at this point. All right, that was a good draw for us. That might actually won us the game. Seven hundred. I mean, it's decent. He might have it. He might have us though. We did see him drop a seven hundred round turn earlier. Ooh, I think we got it. Barely. <laughs> Gables got him. <laughs> All right, I like it. We'll do one more. See if it was a fluke. That was a close match, man. Ooh, I was sweating that one. But yeah, it's a fun little deck, guys. Definitely don't underestimate Weird World, especially with the new the new card. It definitely seems to help. Yeah, you have to rock April Fools. It's not great, but April Fools does have a use case, right? It can win an early round, which is nice because then just don't worry about it late game. You know, it's not it's not dinging you at least this week with the minus, uh, you know, the the downside. Oop, what did I say? Thanks for. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got here? So not the greatest draw. I 
Let's do it like that. Only two cards hitting down here, so not great for us. Not great. We really want Magna Carta, right? That really helps this deck function. There. Ooh, perfect draw. Okay, now we're cooking with dynamite. I think I go Capuchin because I want the return effect. Okay, looking pretty good. All right, we drew into Butterball, which is good. Let me think here. I think I'd go Rat. Or do I want to go Ren to keep it a one drop next to Butterball? Yeah, let's do it like that. I had a hunch we were winning there, so I didn't didn't see it necessary to play rat. And that keeps some one drops around this card. That is it can be the toughest card to play, like I said earlier. Uh, so keeping those one drops next to it is definitely helpful. Let's see. Oh, the concede. Really? Nobody wants to play your boy. All right. Well, I guess that's it for today, guys. You know, we didn't get to see the second game fully, but you see what was going on there. You could see the deck was performing. So uh, I think that's really all we need to show with it anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck. As always, I try to put some crazy stuff together for you guys and think outside the box a little bit. So... I think this brought that to the table today. I really liked the deck, actually. I'm probably going to keep playing with it. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good night, guys.